right, everybody, welcome back to another episode. And today I have a pretty good little tip for you guys. Uh, it has to do with crankbait fishing. Yeah, basically anything that has treble hooks on it, preferably two treble hooks. Um, you can do the same thing with like a jerk bait that has three treble hooks, but whenever you get into like, messing with the jerk bait, it, it affects the action a lot more than it does than with a typical, you know, crankbait build, crankbait, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, this right here applies with, you know, square bills, rattle traps, uh, the typical, you know, small body crankbaits. You can do it with the big deep diving crankbaits as well. Um, you just gotta, you know, make sure you match the hook sizes and all that stuff with your bait. Uh, I didn't really match one thing on this bait that I have customized for you guys just because I cannot find a certain size split ring. but. We're gonna hop into the tips right here real quick. Right here, this is just a basic little joint. I have nothing done to it. I'm actually stuck right now. Um, I'll zoom in on this and you guys can see that there's nothing done to it. There's no added weight, uh, no different. You know, this is basically the stock little joint that comes out of the packet. And as y'all can see, it's the, like I said, the stock hooks. Uh, there's only one split ring on each one of them. There's no added weight or anything like that. It's the stock little joint. And some of the things I can do to this crankbait right here, or any other crankbait, to make it either go deeper, shallower, you know, anything I want to do with it. Better hookup ratio, better landing ratio. And I have all that done to this one right here for the most part. As you all can see, it is a little bit different. I actually have a EWG style hook on the front, and on the back I have a regular round bend. But you probably notice this right here was one of the first things you noticed. I added one of these little suspend strips. I actually have a whole pack right here. I added that to the bottom of the bill, and what that does is it adds weight. And when you cast that lure out in the water, it'll sit like this right here normally. But the more weight you add, the further it'll sit and nose down. And with that being said, the faster it'll dive down and the actually it'll get a little bit deeper. This right here normally runs seven to nine foot, just depending on the kind of line you use. And if you add enough of these little suspension strips, you can actually stack them on here. I just got one on here right now. But you can stack them and you can get this lure down about 12 foot. Uh, that's about the deepest I've gotten to run 12 foot on 10 pound line. And that is another thing on crankbait fishing. The smaller diameter line you, you use, the deeper your crankbait will go. And with that also being said, the larger line you use, the shallower your crankbait will go. So that's also one way you can customize and I would say fish this lure differently than most other people. You can throw this on 15 or 17 pound line and it would only run, you know, in a six foot range or so, five foot range. Uh, another thing you can see right here real quick is I actually have a snap swivel. And what that does is it eliminates line twist. It actually gives the fish less leverage because there's more range of motion from the snap to your line tie. And basically that helps from the fish being able to throw your lure. Also it adds a little bit of weight cause some of these smaller body crankbaits, uh, this one not in particular cause this right here is half ounce, it's tungsten weighted. And like I was saying, Spro makes a great crankbait. Uh, from the, out, straight out of the package it's great. It's got really sharp hooks. It actually has my oh god I believe size is number four or something like that. And it's a great crankbait, but the tips I'm giving you guys will make your crankbait, I would say better for like hookup ratio, landing ratio, uh, like I said, different ways of fishing and everything. And uh, this snap swivel, on those lighter crankbaits like the Bandit 200, uh, it'll help you get that crankbait out there a little bit further uh, on your cast. And it's, I know it's very minuscule, but you know, it actually, it, it actually does help. Um, I've covered everything from the snap swivel to the, um, the suspend strip, the little ledge strip. Uh, the front treble hook, like I said earlier, is actually an EWG style. And what that does is, the reason why I run an EWG style on the front and a round bend on the back is because if a fish is eating this bait and they eat it, they're gonna get that front hook. And what those EWG style hooks do, I don't know if you guys can see that, as you guys might be able to see right here, they actually curve back in. And what that does is that actually pins that that hook into that fish's mouth. It actually curls back in and makes it 10 times harder for that fish to throw that hook. And when they're really eating it, 
you get that front hook on there and they are it the only way they can throw it if they get that front hook they also get that second hook nine times out of ten the only way they can throw it or the only way you can lose that fish really is if you you know fish them in air or if you just break your line now another thing you all might start seeing now is right here on the back i got this i got like i said a round bend but i don't know if you guys can see that there's actually two split rings and now why i have two split rings is because if they are just nipping at it they'll usually get that back hook and that's another reason why i run a round bend because they're just nipping at it that round bend is actually as you can see right here on this as you can see right here on this EWG, the hook points curve in back to the shank of the hook. And the round bend actually stay parallel with it. And when they're nipping at it, they'll be more likely to get a hold of that round bend. And that's why I run the round bend on the back. But as you all can see, there's two split rings. And what that, those two split rings do is when they're nipping at it, they're only going to get one, maybe two hooks right here on the back. And they can still throw that very easily because they got all kinds of bait right here as leverage. And what I do is I run those two split rings on the back, and what it does is it allows that split, the treble hook to rotate three, four times on the back of that bait before it even wants to start catching. Right there, there's four times, I believe. And I, now my lure is starting to want to rotate with it. Now, as if I do it on a basic one right here, I think you can only do it twice. So there's one. Oh, no, actually, he's already started doing it. So one, two. And what that does is it gives you more more of a chance to not lose that fish if they just get that back hook. So that's why I run a round bend with two split rings. I typically try to match split rings. This one right here, I didn't. I don't have any more split rings the same size. Uh, it just depends on which lure you're using. Try to match split rings because if you run a bigger split ring, uh, you can actually start hooking your lures together. But that's why I run an EWG on the front so my two hooks don't connect to each other. And typically, you can run that off the two X. Like the two x short and one time strong or something like that i can't remember how it is exactly but usually ewg style hooks are a little bit shorter than round bend hooks and there you have it that is my tips for you know crankbait fishing uh and you know keep you guys from losing those fish uh able to fish it a little bit different fish a little bit better um i hope this was very useful for you guys if you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that like button if you found it useful hit that like button and now once again just because I use a uh, like a spro little John one of those smaller style crankbaits doesn't mean you can't do it for rattle traps uh, you know the square bills the bigger style crankbaits 6xds 8xds stuff like that you can use that just make sure you match the hook sizes split ring sizes and all the other stuff I would upsize my uh, snap swivel if you're gonna be throwing a 6xd for sure but that's all I have for you guys I hope you guys found this useful like I said if you did smash that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to have a lot more videos come for you guys. Follow me on all my social media. It's all at Bass Bullies TV. All the links are down in the description. And, yeah, hopefully there will be a fishing video next time. And until next time, catch them big. I'm